My dear learners, my name is Aken Maisiba, a teacher of music. And more often, we have always heard this word, music. It's very common everywhere. Today, I want us to go down to the foundation, to the basics, and ask ourselves, what is music? That's where I want us to approach this uh, word from. What is music? We define music first as the art of combining sounds so that they are pleasing and expressive. That's the first definition. It's the art of combining sounds so that they are pleasing and expressive. Another definition is that it is the use of sounds and beats to express a feeling or emotion such as joy, happiness, sad, sadness, excitement, or even anger. So music is a way of expressing oneself. Another definition, you can say these are sounds that have rhythm, melody, and harmony. Sounds that have rhythm, melody, and harmony. We shall explain more about uh, what we mean by rhythm, melody, and harmony. Now, we have talked of sound. Because sound is anything that you, you hear. And remember, not all sounds that are musical. That's why we need to note that for any sound to be described as a musical sound, it must be. For any sound to be described as a musical sound, it must be one, pleasant, two, organized. Those are the two elements you need to look at. For any sound to be described as a musical sound, it must be uh, pleasant and organized. And be, above all, be appreciated by the ear. That's all about the definition. And remember, I take you back to the first definition whereby we describe the music as the art. So when we talk of art here, art simply means creativity. So music is, is it's all about creativity. If it's an art, and then music is created, music is made. So I want that I want to take you through how music is made. Therefore, if it's an art, it's created. How is it made? So it is created when we combine beats as well as sounds so that they are pleasing, enjoyable, and motivating when we listen to them. That's how music is uh, made. When sounds, when sounds have been organized, have been put together, and then people can easily listen and enjoy. That's how music is made. Now, I want us to look at if music is made again, I want us to look at the elements or properties of music. What makes music? I want to give an example like a house. For you to come up with a house, for you to build a house, you need to look for cement, you need to look for stones, you need to look for iron sheets, and then make what? Make a house. Music as well is made, you must, we must have properties, we must have the elements that we use to make this music. And the first element, Actually, the backbone of music, it is sound. So sound becomes our first element. It's the most important element of music, whereby all kinds of music involve sound in one way or another. 
That is the first thing we need to know. Sound as the first element, the first property of music. And then we come up with others. Now sound being the very important element of music, it has units. So I want us to look at the units of sound. One unit is what we call pitch. And what is pitch? Pitch is the highness or lowness of sound. Highness or lowness of sound. And then the second unit of sound is what is described as tone. Tone is the quality of sound. I'll come to explain more about that later. The third unit of sound is timbre. Timbre is used to describe the quality of sound in a musical instrument. So I want us to look at the uh, different 